Hello, I'm David Valdez, and today I wanted to talk to you about polynomial arithmetic, um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing polynomials. And um, that may be a little bit of a misnomer to put those together, but uh, that's okay. We'll go with it. I think you know what I mean, and uh, it will become more clear as I show examples. Um, for now, let me just uh, introduce some vocabulary, some nomenclature around polynomials, and then uh, on the next video, we'll start uh, doing some examples. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the standard form. What does the standard form polynomial look like? Well, it looks something like this. Uh, AX to the N plus BX to the N minus 1 plus cx to the n minus 2 plus, and that just keeps going until you get down to something without an x like that, okay? So um, the a, b's, c's, the d, those are just numbers. Um, those are called coefficients. So let me just point that out. The numbers in front that is multiplied by our variable terms are called coefficients. Coefficients. The things denoted by the n, the n minus 1, the n minus 2, those things, those are just powers. And uh, don't be intimidated by n, n minus 1, n minus 2, how it looks uh, that we're making these even bigger or expanding them out. Don't be intimidated by that. All it means is that n represents the highest power. Subtract 1 from that to get the next highest power, so on and so forth. So. The standard form polynomial is written with the x term to the highest power and then descending from there. Okay? So those are just the powers up there. Um, this last guy over here without an x, we call that the constant term. Constant term. And that makes sense because if we were to evaluate a given polynomial for a certain value of x, we would stick in numbers everywhere we see an x, and each term would change value, but not this one. That would never change value because there's no x attached to it, so we call it constant. It's the constant term. What are terms in general? I guess I should have stated that. Terms in general are anything separated by addition. That's how I like to put it. Even if you see a minus in there, remember that that can be construed as plus a negative, so that is also a term. So let me just write down that also. The uh, cheap definition there for a term is anything separated by addition. Separated by, running out of space here, addition. And there's one other thing I would like to, uh, before I show an example, talk about, and that's the degree of the polynomial. The degree of a polynomial is simply um, the value of the highest power. Degree. This is the value of the highest power of x, I'll say, or of the variable. Highest power of the variable when we're talking about a single variable polynomial. And it's slightly different when we talk about a multivariate polynomial. But uh, let me save multivariate polynomials for another video. I'm just going to stick with a single variable for now. And let me give you a, a quick example. Suppose we had uh, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. This polynomial we would call a trinomial because there are three terms. And remember, even though this is a minus right there, it is technically separated by addition because I could put plus a negative. So again, just to point that out, you could write it like this and it's exactly the same thing. It looks a little weird, but it is the same. And I do that just to point out that 
there are indeed three terms and the coefficient of this term in the middle is negative 5 and you can clearly see that right there. Three terms, coefficient is negative 5, uh, the degree is 2 which is the highest power there and so uh, let me just write down those few things for this example. The degree is 2. There are three coefficients, and I'll just put that in a list. 3, negative 5, and, uh, oh, excuse me, there are only two coefficients, just 3 and negative 5. Um, 2, we're going to call the constant term. Constant term. All right, and um, the leading term we can say is this right here. I didn't talk about leading term, but you might see that in some textbooks. The leading term is the one with the, the that when written in standard form, the leading term here uh, has the highest power of x. The leading coefficient is that um, coefficient of the highest power of x. And uh, be careful with that one. Some textbooks call the leading term just whatever's first, regardless of whether it's written in standard form. But um, I think we should uh, write it in standard form first just to go with a convention there. So this is the basic nomenclature, the basic vocabulary surrounding polynomials. In the next few videos, I will um, do the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And um, I will also talk about multivariate polynomials. So let's uh, stop here and move on to the next in the series.